While you may know that Interactive Brokers currently lets you earn more than 4% return on your idle cash, the real question is, how much do you actually know about the program? Like, how does this interest thing actually work? Where does the money come from? Is this actually safe? How can you check how much interest you have earned? Then finally, I will also share some tips and tricks so that you can earn as much interest as possible with your idle cash. So with that being said, let's jump right in. The first thing you need to know about IBKR's interest rate is that it is not fixed and can change from time to time. For example, even though right now it shows 4.83%, probably by next week, the rates will be different again. That's because the rates follow something called the reference benchmark rate, where it takes the rates from places like the federal funds rate, bank deposit rates, and dynamic interbank rates determined from foreign exchange and money markets, then uses them to calculate the reference benchmark rates. After that, IBKR deducts an amount of the reference benchmark rates to come up with the final interest rate that you will earn. So for example, for US dollar, the reference benchmark rate is at 5.33%. And after deducting 50 basis points or 0.5% from it, you will end up with 4.83% interest. However, there are a few more fine prints here. One, the balance on your first 10,000 US dollars won't earn any interest. And two, for the balance above 10,000 US dollars, you will only earn the full 4.83% if your account has more than $10,000 worth of net asset value. Otherwise, if your account has less than that, you will only earn a proportional rate. You can easily check your account's net asset value by logging into your account and it will be under net liquidity. Thankfully, IBKR has provided us with an interest rate calculator to make this easier to calculate how much you can realistically earn. So as mentioned earlier, you won't earn any interest on your first $10,000 cash balance. But let's say if you have $50,000 in your account, anything above the $10,000 balance will earn a 4.83% interest rate. This is only if your account has more than $100,000 worth of assets. But if let's say the net asset value is at $50,000 instead, you will only get to earn half the interest rate. But then, where does this interest even come from? Interactive brokers is so nice that they are actually giving out free money. Yeah. As it turns out, IBKR invests our cash in very short-term government securities that's maturing in a few months. Stuff like short-term US treasuries such as treasury bills, treasury notes, and reverse repurchase agreements. You can actually see the results of this in their financial statement. So besides the usual commissions and other fees, interest income is a huge part of their revenue. This includes earning interest from our cash and securities and margin loans. After that, IBKR will just pay out the interest to us based on our account balances. But if they are investing our money, would we suddenly end up not having enough money to use? Investment Modes found out that as of 10 March 2023, IBKR is investing about 78% of clients' funds and has a portfolio duration of 30 to 40 days. Then as they mature, IBKR will continuously reinvest the funds into new securities. That way, the interest rate sensitivity is very low and the realized loss would be minimal if ever they needed to sell securities and return our money back to us. Now, here's how you can check how much interest you have earned. In the website, click on Performance and Reports, Portfolio Analyst, scroll all the way down till you see Projected Income, then expand it. Then all the way at the bottom under Accrued Interest, you will see how much interest you have earned this year and what's the current yield. Another way to check is by going back to Portfolio Analyst, click on the Reports tab, then generate a detailed report for the period that you are interested in. Look for Interest and Fees, then on the left, you will see the interest that you have earned on your account's balance and any margin interest that you have paid. You will also notice that the interest is usually credited around the 5th of every month. Finally, here are some tips and tricks that you can use to maximize the amount of interest that you can earn. First, try to consolidate your account balance to just one currency. That's because you will only earn interest if the currency balance is above a certain amount. For example, if you have $3,000 and $9,000 in your account, and if you aren't planning to use your sing dollar to buy stocks, then just convert all of them into US dollar. That way, you get to earn some interest on the amount that's above $10,000 US dollars. Second, as of making this video, both the Japanese yen and the Russian ruble have negative rates, meaning instead of earning interest, you are now paying interest to IBKR. So avoid holding Japanese yen and the ruble in your account. Once you have funded the account, immediately convert the currencies to something else. Lastly, I've seen quite a few questions asking, given that IBKR doesn't let you earn any interest on your first $10,000, is there any way to earn some interest on that? Yes, 
If you are a US resident, you can buy US money market funds such as VMFSS or VUSXS to earn a yield of around 5%. But if you are not a US resident, then too bad you won't be able to buy these funds. The downside of this method is that the commission is rather high as you have to pay 3% of trade value or a minimum of $14.95 whenever you buy and sell the funds. The second method is to buy ETFs that invest in US treasuries. For example, SHV that holds US treasuries that mature in less than one year and currently gives around 5.2% 30-day yield. Or VGSH that holds US treasuries that mature between one to three years and currently has a 30-day yield of 4.7%. Though, again, there are two downsides to this. One, because these ETFs pay dividends every month, if you aren't from a country that has a treaty with the US, the dividends will be subjected to a 30% withholding tax. So a 5% yield will only be worth 3.5% yield. But I guess it's better than nothing. The second downside is that the price of these ETFs can go up and down. So you may see some losses in the short term. But the benefit is that since these are ETFs, the minimum commission on them is just a tiny 35 cents per order, which is really cheap. If you don't like fluctuating prices, the third method is to buy US T-bills, where you are able to lock in both the use and the price. To do that, on the website, click on Research, Bond Scanner, then choose the maturity date that you want, and you will see the T-bills. This method is good if you know that you don't need to invest that money within a certain period. And for the downside, there will be a minimum commission of 5 US dollars. Check out this video to find out more on how this works. Otherwise, if you don't like any of the previous methods, the final method is to just park your money elsewhere, like a high yield savings account or mining market funds in other brokers. Then, when you want to invest, you can just transfer the money in. This is because funding deposits into IBKR is pretty fast and will usually arrive within a few hours during business days. Anyway, that's all for this video. Hopefully, you found this useful. Like, share, and subscribe as I'll be posting new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday.